Hello, welcome to Anthers TV. My name is Jack Duxbury and this is the rather lovely... Nick Jones from Music Tribe. God, let's fist pump. Nick, first video in our new room. Woo! And a very important product, we have the Behringer... Wing. We enlisted the help of the Falcon to help plug it in, and Taylor and Pete, and we had a little jam through it. Here it is. High five. Why should I get it? Behringer Wing is our new digital mixing console. It can be used for front of house in live situations. You can use it for your monitors. You could use it in a studio, which is what we've done today. Um, so like key features of the console, 48 channels in and out over the AES ports, um, which allow you to connect to stage boxes. Um, we've also got the new stage connect technology, which is 32 channels over XLR. Um, mm. We can also do 48 in over USB and then we have got some expansion cards coming in the future. Uh, the Wing ships with the Wing Live card, so that allows you to record 64 channels to two SD cards. Crikey, there's a lot in there. Yeah, it's all in this very pretty package. And I'm familiar with the X32. Uh, I played with a few artists that had it. Where, um, where does this kind of lead, lead on from the X32? Okay, so... From the X32, this allows much more customization and allows you to fully configure the console to your needs. Um, the main thing being point to point patching. Right, let's see. Yeah, I saw that in the launch. This sounds cool. Far away. Cool. So, if you're used to the X and the M series, you'll know that you used to have to patch everything in banks of eight. Yeah, so if you wanted eight uh, analog inputs and eight USB inputs, you'd then have to use a total of 16 channels in your banks. For example, what we've done today. If we go into this menu here on our channel strip, we can then select any of the inputs that the console can have and select just one of them to go to any channel. So in my little layman head, I, something's coming in, and but I can assign it to anything here. Yes, the it, surface is fully So I don't, I don't have to go like one, two, three, four. It doesn't have to be in order. So I, nope. I which would be incredible, I, I'd imagine, for... Um, yeah, so many different applications. Yeah. yeah, so for example, again, what we've done today, we recorded that quick session, and then we played the USB back on channel 10, which is just a random channel that popped out of my head. Yeah. But then as you can see, if we go back, we're using all the AES channels, and there was no need to patch multiple banks. And you've consolidated it all in here. Yeah. Okay, but let, let's break, the, can we, so this is the, the session that we did. Yes. I can see that we've got lovely icons in here. How, uh, on the scribble strip, yep. scribble strip, is that what you're calling them? Yep, scribble strips. Okay, I thought so, so we've got the scribble strips and the scribble lights now. So instead of the entire backlight changing color, it's just the little light above. 
And what do you get in a channel? What what can run on a channel? Have we got compression? How many yep. sends so and things like that? There are two insert points for your effects. Right. There are 16 mix buses that you can send your channels to. Um, from there, there is also eight matrix channels that you can use. We've got EQ, we've got compressors, we've got gates, and you can switch between different types as well. So if I just show you really quick, if we jump into the gate, this is the standard wing gate. Yeah. We hit this little icon here, we've now got some different types of gates that we can use. For example, we've got the Sol 9000 gate. Wow. This screen is a revelation, by the way. Yeah, full touch screen. Was that, was that just the amount of gates we could get? Yeah, so that's just our gates. Outrageous. Now, on the X32, the big winner seemed to be people uh, and a lot of functionality came with the iPad. Same thing, you can all run this off. It's coming. And that's another point. Where, when do we think we'll see this? I can't Roughly. say, you can't say. Well, I've got to ask. <laughs> I feel like an investigative journalist. <laughs> Um, let's go through a little bit, uh, so we had that session yeah. we just did. What did you do and how did you use it on uh, the channels we did? Obviously it okay. wasn't very posh, it didn't have a lot of time, me and Pete were being very silly. Yeah, I just wanted to keep it really basic for you. So for example, we can see here, any of the icons that are orange is what's activated. So we've got just a little bit of EQ. Um, cool thing about this, we've actually got the tilt EQ now. So what the tilt EQ does, if we just activate it, and I adjust that tilt dial. Whoa. Yeah. And again, I actually used that. It looks that. like a fab filter EQ, so it's really cool. I actually used that on the bass guitar. As you can see, it kind of slopes yeah. down. And again, just wanted to give a little bit of a boost to the bottom on the bass. But again, everything else is just pretty simple, just a basic EQ, a basic nice soft compressor. And uh, yeah. Uh, preamp wise, is there anything saucy about the preamps? It's got eight Midas Pro Series preamps built in. Okay. Um, and then obviously we've got some stage boxes coming out in the future which are going to be compatible over AES and Stage Connect. Who do you see uh, out of our customers out there, who, who should buy it? Uh, people who are evolving and learning more, moving on from the X32, want to take that step up. It's also really compatible for studio use. Um, so me, myself, I do front of house sometimes for a function band. I want to take this with me at some point. And mm put it through its steps. And the, the price, check the price out, we're gonna have it there. It, it's gonna be outrageous, isn't it, really? Yep, it's, for what you're getting in this box, it is great value. Uh, and even as uh, an in, interface, at the moment you said how many channels over USB? 48. So it's incredible value. Yeah. For that. Yeah, even for that. I really dig it. I think check out. We're gonna have another video as well, just um, of some tips, and it's just nice to have someone from Behringer down here, man. We love your Behringer stuff. Oh, Hopefully, thanks. in the future, we we'll have more synths and uh, bits of gear from Behringer. Yeah. Anyway, let, uh, I think we'll play us out with some uh, obtuse soloing from Danish Pete. Yeah, that sounds awesome. Thanks for watching. Bye. Danish Pete on the bass. Here's Danish Pete. Just the wing desk